the greatest risk that we have here is the insider threat. Um, uh, the hardest threat there is to protect yourself is the insider threat. Um, so you want to put in place process and procedures uh, to mitigate that threat. Some of them work, some of them work better than the other ones. Um, but it, because it's so hard, what you're going to want to do is be able to, if it happens, the most dangerous occurs, least likely most dangerous occurs, is that you can respond quickly with all of the first response capabilities that are going to be required. We're going to start on 1 October acting um, that we're going to be operating at sequestration levels. Uh, uh, we're going to act like that's the, going to be the number for the year. We're going to have to reduce our flying and we're going to have to uh, rescope our availabilities or delay them and potentially cancel availabilities um, uh, in order to get through the fiscal year. What we're not going to do is not send people forward that are not properly trained. Those that we send forward on deployment will be properly trained to fight and win and do the nation's bidding. Uh, you're going to see, people will see uh, if, uh, if they're, um, they're going to be operating or training um, at a reduced level, uh, steaming and flying, until it's time to start ramping their training up to get them ready to go on deployment. Uh, and also then if you're in um, uh, preparing uh, to go into maintenance depot level, uh, that may be delayed. Your time that you would go into a shipyard may be delayed while we wait and see what happens with the budget. Um, uh, we don't want to make a permanent decision until it's time to make it. All of our decisions we want to be reversible. And if you're not in uniform? Well, my concern there is the uh, second and third order effects, the second, third, or fourth tier uh, workers in our availabilities. I'm concerned about the long-term health of our industrial base. I'm not worried about the big ship companies, uh, repair uh, companies. I'm worried about the little, what I'll call mom and pop, that live contract to contract. Uh, and that if we make those decisions, they, will, they may go out of business. And if they do, they're very highly, they're very high skilled workers. Uh, and they're going to go find something else to do. And I may lose that capability altogether.